Is it difficult for you to keep the right hand fingers alternating when you have random string crosses? Have you realized that sometimes you play repeatedly with the same finger but you don't really intend to do so? Has this even slowed you down? Maybe when you're trying to play a fast piece and you don't know how to get rid of it because it's just a natural reaction and it's much too fast a piece for you to even think about it. Well, keep calm because today I'm going to give you some exercises for you to automate all the finger combinations and not have to play the pieces while thinking if you are alternating fingers or not. This will help you speeding up pieces, it will help you playing more comfortably and definitely will help you to play with the right hand much more relaxed and thus much more control in general. Hi, my name is Mercé Fon, I'm a classical guitar player and today we're going to talk about right hand finger alternation. This is a topic that is very simple on itself, but it needs to be taken care of right from the beginning, otherwise you will stumble upon many problems down the road. As usual in many past videos, I made a PDF with the exercise with many variations, so that if you like you can download it, the link is in the description, and you can get the score to add it in your practice routine. For sake of not making this video too long, I'm just going to show you how to practice it, and then you can go ahead and do all the variations of the PDF. If you're not subscribed already, feel free to do so and activate the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload. If this content brings you value, consider becoming a patron on my site and you'll gain access to all our study materials in the academy, as well as joining our live streams and gaining access to the replays of all our past streams. We have many in-depth sessions on different topics, so I'm sure you will find this very useful as well. So right hand alternation for classical guitarists is very important, the same way that playing with alternate picking for electric guitar is. On top of that we have actually more finger combinations that you can have with the plectrum, so it's very very important that right from the beginning you get used to control which finger combinations you're using. Now it's relatively easy the concept that we play with two fingers, index middle, middle ring finger or index ring finger or the other way around and alternate them as we play. The problem is is that we don't always play groups of two or groups of four and then is when something goes wrong and we start to add repetitions with the same finger without actually intending to. When that problem occurs, it's very important that you understand where. Isolate the passage and try to figure out in which exact combination of notes this is happening. If necessary, write it down. Then I recommend you to do the following exercise. So the first exercise is super, super simple and straightforward. We set one, two, three, four, and I want you to alternate with index middle. Until here, very simple, right? Should be. Now we will keep the binary rhythm on the right hand, but we will make only three notes on the left hand. You should see if there you are still alternating or not. If you repeat the finger it's very normal, usually the index wants to always be the first or the middle and this is what we need to correct, we need to be free with the right hand to play any comfortable fingering that we want while the left hand is doing different formulas. What you can do to correct it is the first sequence we will start it with index finger and you will put an accent on the index and the second sequence starts with the M finger and you put an accent on the M so you really feel this beginning. Add a few minutes of this every day when you practice and I promise you, you will feel difference. In the beginning, try to exaggerate the accents to forte and the rest piano so that you really get to feel where the start of the three is. This exercise has many variations. We have one, two, three, two, three, four, one, two, four, and one, three, four. And on the right hand, we have index middle, middle index, middle ring finger, ring finger middle, and then index ring finger and ring finger index. Now let's say you have been practicing this for a while and as you play it you don't have to think about it anymore. Then I propose you a second version so that it might challenge you a little bit more. So now we spread the combination of one to three in two strings so you have all this string crossing. 
they start to be a little bit more challenging for the brain because you really need to focus again on the accents. The accents is what is going to help you the most to keep track of where you are. Remember to do this upgrade of the exercise also with all the finger combinations of the right hand. And for extended practice, of course, change up also the left hand. So after this feels natural and comes out comfortably, then just mirror the left hand. So now we had first, second, and first string again. So now we will do second, first, and second. These variations with two strings at a time, they are a little bit more complicated. So if you see that you do all the time mistakes and mistakes on this, go back to the first step and get this done a little bit more. You need to be able to have the mental control to follow the first beat of every three. Otherwise, these more difficult exercises are going to be like a lottery. And when you practice this, you need to practice knowing that you can make it good. You need to gain full control of this type of exercise because it's a very, very essential concept, but it's very difficult sometimes to just think about it in pieces because there's so much more going on. So I recommend you that if you feel like you have these problems in the pieces, you isolate this with this exercise and you work on it every time you warm up. Like this, your brain is solely focused on that one thing. And slowly, slowly, as this becomes second nature, this will be reflected also in the pieces. Your natural choice of fingering is no longer going to be all the time the index finger just because that feels the easiest to you, but your brain is going to understand that the most current thing is to keep the alternation so that you can keep up also with the speed. Eventually, also with very difficult passages, one might need to work the right hand separately, but for the very large amount of situations, just with a little bit of awareness, you can solve a lot of things. So I hope this video was useful for you. I really hope that it will help you to get this issue of the alternation fixed and sorted because it's doable, but you just need to pay a little bit of attention in it. Again, I have written all the variations and all the exercises on the PDF, so you can just take it and go step by step and do one little upgrade at a time. Please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very, very much. And most of all, if you know other musicians that can benefit from this, please share the video with them. That's why I spent all these hours making all this content. And the more we can help each other, the better. Again, thank you very much for watching. I wish you very good practice and see you in the next one.